We have a chapter five again. Hope. Oh, this time. It's the word. Hope. Superstition. Superstition. He's still dead. Yep. It's kind of sad that Stutter's dead. I'm sure there must be an ending where he lives. The true ending? Probably. Unless he's just the red coat. That's my guess is that he's the red coat. Maybe. Hmm. Ah, Dane. Who should I bring? Well, might as well save again. Use that save. What save? The bottom one, because that we didn't do anything with it. Okay. What does the status say? Impressed. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I like how the rest of them weren't abandoned. Like Dean was. Yeah. She like, has abandonment issues, but then that the blue guy's if, gone still. Maybe it's you only abandon them once you get to three scenes and then go to someone else's force. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how either. it plays. It would require testing. Carry on. Adine. We could skip all this, right? Most of it. Mm. I guess you'll go through the hatch then, huh? And then sneak up on him? That's my guess. I don't know. I'm going to make a wager. Dead again. I'm Always dead. dead. I'm I mean, at least he looks dead. somewhat happy. Hey, at least I don't have to stutter anymore. <laughs> at the beginning of words. Always the beginning. Never. Never the end or middle. Nope. <laughs> 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 oh, living in the sunshine, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. <laughs> This is the most button mashing I've done in this game. <laughs> I'm done with my tiny Tim Dude. now. <clears throat> my God, so much talking. Meow, 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 meow. All right, slow down now. Wait, this is definitely different. Reza, wait, why can't we just talk about this? We just did. No, <coughs> what about... What, you're just trying to distract me, aren't you? No, I'm just... Shut up! They're probably already on their way. Suddenly, Reza shot me in the leg, causing me to fall over and squirm in pain. <laughs> I saw Reza run into the box containing the generator. He lifted up using both of his hands before making his way towards the exit as fast as he could. What? Whoa! <laughs> Suddenly! <laughs> <laughs> Did we just see Sonic? It was the Smen Ma Smaverick. We're just gonna put. I'm just gonna edit in one of the meme Sonic feeds there. Sonic. Well, when Reza go got fast. close to the entrance, I saw a flurry of grey zipping past me with a thunderous gallop. It was Sonic Batman. X Sonic. You know I looked one? towards Reza, who turned around, dropped the box, and grabbed his pistol. <laughs> It was Maverick, who pounced immediately. Reza fell to the ground, and before he could do so much as react, Re Maverick buried his teeth in Reza's neck and... I'm online! Uh, Georgie, you just came online! What's happening? What? No! No! You rude-ass mofo, don't don't. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Great job, Georgie. Great job. <laughs> Brilliant job, Georgie. Uh, I did good. Maverick buried his teeth in Reza's neck and bit down. Reza slumped instantly and didn't move again. So this time the only person I'm gonna who's get dead banned from Reza. Steam for that. <laughs> yep. Why does he look so happy? 
or peaceful. He's not happy. He's peaceful. No, I'd say that's just from the angle. Whoa, you bloody. Mm, then just to Adine do that appeared and called out to Maverick. They were together now. <laughs> I'd been abandoned. Yes. Why did you have to kill him? Because I'm not t taking chances anymore. Just spits blood all over it. <laughs> She's got blood speckles on what her face. What took you so long? Horny, are you all right? You got me in the leg. Maybe there's a first aid kit in one of these rooms. Adine went in one of the adjoining rooms, only to reappear with a first aid kit shortly afterwards. Can I do anything else? I'm not sure if I can apply the bandage. You could tell me what took you so long. Well, at first Maverick wanted to storm the place head on, but then I remembered the map he gave me in the other entrance. We heard you talking and figured we could surprise him if we went the other way. I guess I, I knew it! Yeah. Fuck. I guess I shouldn't be complaining then, because this could have turned out so much worse. Well done, Adine. Probably should be getting you some real help. She turned to Maverick. Hey, it's baby got back. <laughs> Come on, what are we waiting? What are you waiting for? He's gonna want to kill me too, isn't he? Yeah. Maybe he thinks I'm gonna take the generator while you're gone. <laughs> Guess you really wanted to stop. Oh, no. My apologies. Ah. <laughs> I wanted some actual threat and bloodlust. He turned and they both left. I think it would have been interesting if he'd committed to his character arc and tried to kill us as well. That would have been awesome. That would have been a little bit more dramatic and have add more we've to the still ending, got, We've but... still got the administrator. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, the administrator appeared and came towards me. Izumi. Kind of late this time too. How ironic that you would remember her name now. What? I talk in the third person. <laughs> Besides... Doesn't seem like you really needed me. Good job. Her name? What are you talking about? I'm not Izumi. The person I thought was the administrator took off the mask and he revealed a strangely familiar face underneath. The person before me had a <laughs> face that looked exactly like mine down to the tiniest detail. It was like looking into a mirror or at a twin. It was me. That's why there's no picture. <laughs> then you should be reading this. Nah, you, you, you went on estrogen before you went in. <laughs> you understand why I'm wearing the mask now. How is this possible? It's complicated. By now, I guess you know that this always ends with you travelling back in time when something goes wrong. When I was in your position, Izumi died during our confrontation with Reza. And as all the experience from all the different temps vanished with her, I decided I had to become the person who would oversee the next one. I didn't know just how complicated it would be. Luckily, she left a lot behind She left a lot behind to help me, and I executed her plan just as she would. So, what do we do now? Well, with the generator still intact, we still have no trouble diverting the comet. Wouldn't this cause a paradox? Everything to do with time travel causes a fucking paradox. Yes, diverting the comet and saving this world, but I also know that you feel very strongly about executing the mission that you were sent here for. Unfortunately, I'm starting to realise now that this won't be possible. What are you talking about? As outlined in Azumi's plans, I deleted the coordinates that would lead back to humanity's portal when I repaired this one, replacing, replacing them with coordinates to travel back in time to the day of your arrival in this world. Unfortunately, this means that our connection to humanity's portal is lost. Are you saying we could have saved humanity if you just didn't remove those coordinates? I'm afraid so. Then why did you fucking do it? Yeah. Then why <laughs> did you do it? I didn't realise it would come to this. I just executed her plan as she would have. I can understand her reasoning for it, though. It presents an extraordinary risk. Eliminating these coordinates also eliminates the possibility of Reza getting away through the portal and taking the generator we need with him. Why not just tie them to my biometric data like the coordinates we need to travel back in time? That wouldn't be much help, because the scenarios where Reza escapes with the generator, would he wouldn't hesitate to kill you and take what he needs to bypass the biometric scan and use the portal anyway. Then the only way to achieve what we want is not delete those coordinates. Can we really take the risk... You know that if we fail badly enough even once, if the portal gets destroyed, 
Or if both the administrator and you die, there won't be any more chances. If you have seen what goes on from the administrator's side during my stay here, I suppose you should be the one to decide that. That still doesn't address the question of what we should do now, though. If we, went to, if we want to make this happen, one of us will have to go back and do this all over again. And what happens to the other? They could stay here and live their life however they wanted. What about Adine? I wish I could stay with her. All she does for the orphans. I wish I could be part of that. I wish I could be done with this already and settle down. But someone has to go back and ensure what we, we can reach the outcome both of us want. No matter if it's you or me, one of us has to do it. Otherwise, all we know... All those we know back home, they... I don't think I need to tell you. Why are you making me think of those who suffer? Because why would you let them fucking suffer, you fucking <laughs> cunt? You'll never forget them, and if you don't do this, it will haunt you. I know. What do you want me to do? Go back in time and do it all over again? It's what we've been trying to do all this time, you know. No compromise. And of course you want me to do it so you can stay here, huh? I will do it myself if that's what it takes. I just hope they wouldn't have to be me. Don't we both? <laughs> You're the same person, it's funny. If we wanted to settle for an outcome where we just <laughs> flip a coin, <laughs> okay, where we just stop the comment and stay here, we could have done so a long time ago. That doesn't mean that we're both not tired of this. Maybe forgetting everything again by stepping through the portal would be a boon then. Don't try to make this more pal palatable for me. Palatable? How many times have we done this now? Ellipses. I don't know. That was conclusive. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> ah, and again. Well, at least no one except Reza died this time. Indeed, but I didn't feel that was much of a conclusion for no. Aideen. Great. But I suppose these all aren't true endings, so... Yeah. The true ending, we fuck everyone. <laughs> we just get into a massive Including ourselves, thing. apparently, since there's yeah, this that's time travel weird. involved. I told you the next one would be a man. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, we don't actually know the gender of our character. I don't think they've ever It's been whoever preferred. we are. So... So we're both? We're, it's, no, you're voicing it. It's you. You're horny. <laughs> We've, we've established this already, too. But then you were voicing the other version. Yeah, you turned into me. I'm your future self. Horrible. Yeah. Ow, my ears. It's Gold Kid again! It's like fucking cutlery being bashed against each other. Yeah, my ears really hurt. I can hear clearly now, that's nice. And the steady rings! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So, next time we're going after the guys. Ha ha ha! Going all fucking gay on it, mate! Oh, wait. Oh, it's more. What will you do now? For the time being, I suppose I'll be stuck in this world. Ah, oh, just losing the connection to humanity's portal. How is that even possible? I don't know. We will never be able to re-establish contact. No matter what happens, you always be welcome here. You put your life on the line to save us, and it cost your colleague his life. Reza was never my colleague. We experimented in college, that's it. <laughs> then what was he exactly? You know, maybe it's better if humanity never finds out what happened. Oh well. Either way, I'm glad you're here now. I think Emily will appreciate it too. So is she adopted? Hmm? You think so? I'm sure of it. The people from the orphanage should be here any minute now. Yeah, sounds like it. 
I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. You're a daddy. Have you ever babysat before? Not a dragon, that's for sure. Don't worry, I'll be here with you the whole time. But you'll have to be very careful, alright? Of course. Guess it's time, are you ready? Ellipsis. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave! <laughs> I gotta get out of here! I think so. Then you sat on a baby. <laughs> you have seen Adine's good ending. Okay, that was better, I guess. That was a little more confusing. <laughs> Why is there a shadow on the sky? I don't know. <laughs> Why do I sound slightly like Skeletor? Oh, yeah! He yeah. man! He man! Yeah. Skeletor! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Do you think by the end there'll be a dead Sebastian? No! <laughs> okay, I think... Well, the sun hasn't really risen much after that, but... I don't know. Okay, that was both of the Dean's endings. We got more done in that session than we expected. I just thought, fuck it, just do it. Yeah. Okay, so, ta-ta, and next time we'll be going after the... The, the the guys. The I guess we'll be doing Bryce first since we've seen one of his scenes already. Uh, we've seen one of his scenes at the end. Yeah, but I think it doesn't matter when you do it chronologically. All right. I think it's just attached to the number. But I don't know. Okay. So, bye bye. Bye.